here guys welcome back to the channel where today's video is all about how to change the engine oil on your MG midget so let's go ahead and do it extra finger point okay the bits you need for doing your oil change obviously get your oil first time I've used Castrol 20w50 but I've heard good things this is a classic motor oil uh, you'll need an oil filter suitable for the car. I know the one I did last time on Margo was the Man Filter W712. You might need one of these or a similar tool to actually get the uh, oil filter off. Uh, I might not need this, but I've got it just in case because last time it was a pig. Socket for doing up the sump plug and the sump plug with a new copper washer as well. I've also got a funnel because we want to do things gradually and tidily. First thing to do before doing your oil change is get the car up on axle stand so you've got easy access. And if you want to see how to jack your car, look up in that corner. No, <laughs> it's that one. You're also going to need to start the car and let it run for about three or four minutes to make sure she's nice and warm before we drain the oil. Okay, now that we're, the engine's nice and warm and the oil's out, we're gonna swap the oil out. I've got a tray here to catch it. I've slackened it off. It's gonna start spewing all sorts of stuff. Here it comes. There we go. Off she goes. Leave that to do its thing. We want to make sure we get access also to the oil filter, which is hidden annoyingly underneath the dynamo and underneath this hose and the steering column. So the best thing I find is take off and move out of the way this hose, and then you might have better access to getting your hand underneath and twisting that oil filter off. So you should now be able to see under here, we've got a bit more room so I can get underneath and try and access the oil filter which is down there. Just before we go ahead and take the oil filter off, here's what I'm going to be replacing it with. And then basically the way that we do it, if we can't take it off by hand, is you get this, slot it underneath, try and get a good purchase on it, and then using a socket of your choice, there's two different varying sizes on this particular tool, you can twist and it should start when you're twisting with the socket pulling it off because get trying to get a grip on this underneath the engine is almost impossible so that's the tool i'm going to use let's see if it works there it is with the blue strap uh, removal tool i've got that up to a socket set and i'm just twisting that clockwise to take it off normally it's righty tighty lefty loosey in this case because the type of threads on the oil filters you actually turn it righty otherwise clockwise to unscrew it so I've just started to get that going with this strap. I'm going to carry it on and hopefully get it out without much mess. Yes, she's off. That's the oil filter off, you can just see. So the sump is still dripping, so we're now going to fill up the oil filter. We're going to fill it up as much as we can with our motor oil. And we're also going to smear some oil around this rubber O-ring so that when we come to tighten this up to the car, this helps mate the two surfaces. It's going in. I'm just going to periodically check. Okay, the oil filter is now full up just to the bottom of the threads and I'm going to rub some oil around this before I then put it into the car. Okay, so here's the filter. First time. Wow. There it is in place. I'm just gonna tighten it up properly as much as I can, degrease it a bit and then give it a tight up, but that's ready. Then we'll put the nut back on inside the sump and then start to fill it up. So as you can see, the sump plug is mostly there now. The new bolt's gonna go in. Don't forget the compression washer as well. Remember, this doesn't have to be crazy tight. I've got my three quarter socket. I'm just gonna do this till this feels tight enough at the moment. 
not tight enough. There we go. So, the nut is back in the bottom of the sump. The oil filter is filled and on nice and hand tight. Next step, how much do we put in? And there seems to be a few bits of confusing material about this, but this book has told me what I need to know. It says the 1275 oil, including the filter, is around about 6.5 pints or 3.7 litres. So we're going to put in three litres. We're going to be checking the dipstick as we go, making sure that it all's okay. I'm still at an angle at the minute. Obviously, I'll need to drop her down level in a moment. But let's start putting some oil in. So, fill the cap off. Let's start pouring in some oil. Litre number two. So after two litres, it's just starting to measure at the bottom of the dipstick to the m of min. So we're going to go again. And what we'll do now is we'll go for half a litre now. We'll go from there. I've put 3.2 litres of oil in, but there's obviously some in the filter already. She's starting to show that she's knocking on the top of that range of oil. So I'm going to disconnect the coil, turn the engine over, but it won't fire up. It'll crank the engine and push the oil around a bit. Uh, and you should start to see the oil pressure gauge start to move up. Once that's done and we know we've got oil pressure, we'll start her up for real and we'll make sure that there's no more oil that needs to go in. So I'm just going to unplug this lead like that. So we're inside Margot. We have got the ignition on. And we're going to start turning over and hopefully start to see the oil pressure go up. There we go. We've got oil pressure, people. So that's gone pretty well so far. Uh, we've got 70 pounds of pressure or thereabouts, so um, there's obviously a bit more oil to go in, but she's pretty good. I'm going to uh, lower her down, reconnect the ignition coil, and then set her running, and then let her cool down and see how much oil is left. But that's looking pretty good. So there we go. She's down on the ground. I've run her for three or four minutes. I've also now taken her for a drive, brought her back, and she's been left cold overnight and we're going to check the dipstick now. So as you can see the dipstick is showing the clear oil because it's brand new just below the max mark which is utterly perfect especially seeing as she's been sat after being run and she's on a level surface. That's how to do an oil change. There's nothing more to it. See you around for the next one and don't forget to hit subscribe. All my love.